Okay, complaint from wife is uh, battery light came on. Right there. 2012 Chrysler Town & Country minivan. So this, I had the alternator replaced once before and it has one of those uh, like a clutch on the, on the uh, pulley, like a decoupler. So the last couple years it's been, uh, this light comes on periodically every month, couple months or three months. So now my, uh, I was figuring that that decoupler wasn't re-engaging and sticking. So here's my solution. This worked for me for the past couple years. Keep this pipe in here. So obviously, what happens when the uh, that decoupler is not engaged is it looks fine, the belt spinning, but the uh, must be the armature inside the alternator is not turning to uh, produce current to recharge your battery. So as the battery wears down, the van will actually start stuttering and it'll try revving up to output more to get the charge going. Eventually it won't be able to go and when you pull over and put it in gear then it won't let you put it back in gear So you got to get a jump build the battery up pull it to a safe spot uh, Till you can get it out of the way and then get to work on it And the alternator is right down under that hose there So you got to move the hose out of the way a little bit bang on that decoupler and uh, for the most part Last couple years it's been uh, re-engaging, working last a couple, three months and do it again. So I'll uh, set this camera up and show you what I do. Hose there. Right there's a decoupler pulley. Apparently, it'll uh, freewheel if you let off the gas suddenly so it doesn't put strain on the belt or something like that. So, see if that did it. Pretty crude method, but it's quite a job to switch those out, too. So really not not a whole lot to lose by trying it door shut door shut looks like we're good to go for a while like I said, pretty crude, but if it works, it works. Delaying the inevitable, but get a couple more years out of it and we'll be all right. <laughs> 